fix that. We're home from church, and Dad is bringing Micah in, and she's walking up the steps, and there she goes. Bronson usually gets her chair, and I came in to get it. Bronson's at church for a youth fundraiser. They're having an auction. They do an annual auction to help them go to NAYC. That's National North American Youth Corps. I think that's what that is. All right, so she's going to get into her chair here. And I have Bo blocked, and he can't get outside. Anxious to get out here. Where is he back? There he is. Hey, Bobo. Okay, come on. He can't get outside. Alright, getting like his feet up All right, here. Now, back. Oh, come on. You can do better now. There she goes. Miss Mikey. Bronson had his first speaking engagement at church right, tonight, up. and he did fabulous. Right speaking, he says, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which, see, which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. And what the, ver you may be seated. what the verse is kind of talking about is that you want to be have a personal life and a personal life to Jesus, or to God in your, in your prayer life. Amen. And it's kind of like the power of prayer. When you're close to Him, He rewards you with things that you need in your life from the Lord. Yeah. Amen. And that's important in that way is because you still have the power where God gives you the power to pray for someone or, for, or if someone's praying for you. And like that can change someone's life or change your life in ways. Yeah. Amen. And I would like you to turn to. Yeah, I kind of got you crooked there in the door. Yeah. She drives pretty good. There's Bobo. Oh, oh he's going to play fetch. There's Come Bobo. On. Tarzan came running outside to get into the grass. Come Here he comes. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let go. 